everyone, it's Friedrich, Farid, Mac, uh, Macum, Kaman Marra. We're going to talk about uh, this time, we've got a lesson on um, how to get people's attention. How to get people's attention. Um, to ask them a question or a favor or something like that. So let's say you're driving in your car um, and you see someone on the street. You want to get their attention to ask them a question. Or you walk into a place of business, you don't know the person's name and you want to refer to them to ask them a question or a favor or something like that. So basically, how do you get someone's attention? Um, all right, so let's start out first with this one. Ja, ocht, and this is for girls, all right? So if you're talking to a girl or addressing a girl, a uh, guy addressing a girl or a girl addressing a girl, you would say, the one that's probably most used is ja, ocht, okay? Ja, ocht. So, Ja ocht, ja ocht means literally, oh sister, all right, oh sister. Now it's not, even though it sounds uh, somewhat religious, it does have its, um, it does derive from the religious side. Um, however, it's not meant, it's not, people don't see it as religious in terminology necessarily. So, ja ocht is one way to do it. Another one though is for a younger girl, let's say if she's less than 14 years old, you could say, you could say, Ya Habibti, Ya Habibti. So it's important though for you to know, guys, if you're talking to a girl, um, you're trying to get her attention, and if it's a young girl, okay, but if it's a girl above 14, considered that's, you don't do that then because then you're, it's more like becomes something romantic or something like that. So you don't say that. But for a girl, a little girl or a girl younger than 14, you could say, Ya Habibti, uh, So you could say that, Ya Habibti, Ya Habibti. So a lot of foreigners use Habibi and Habibti a lot. Um, however, there are certain occasions when you really should not use it. Um, and this, you are limited to usage, and this is one. So, uh, the next one is, yeah, sit, yeah, sit. So this one is for someone who is really um, over a woman who's over 40 years of age, okay? So that's about around about the number there, age number. So for over 40, you could say, yeah, sit. You don't say this to a girl in her 20s, and you don't say it to a girl um, uh, who... Uh, is a younger girl as well. I mean, like uh, under 20 or whatever. Definitely not. Yeah, sit. And um, by the way, this one means, Habibti means my love. Okay, my love. Habibti, or the one that I like or love. So, uh, yeah, sit. Sit means um, kind of like, we don't really have a translation in English, but you, I guess you could say, um, it means lady or miss or madame or something like that. Madame isn't really English either. But uh, miss would be the appropriate way to say it. But it's for an older lady, okay, miss. Um, or definitely an adult woman. All right, who's over 40. The next one, this one's actually probably used more than any of them. And uh, it's basically using a verb, semah. Uh, semaha in the fusha. So, Samah means to permit or to allow. Um, so, lo samahti. That means here, lo samahti means if, lo, if, you, feminine, permit. If you will permit. Or, um, would you allow me? This is a bit, kind of like what you're saying. Would you allow me to do something? Or if you don't mind, like that. Lo samahti. Lo samahti. Notice this, uh, this is written like law, but it's not that. Um, there's really no, there's no uh, other spelling I could do that really brings it out. So you just have to say, lo, lo, lo samahti. And that's with a heavy H, ha, lo samahti. Okay, so lo samahti is uh, another way to get someone's attention. And this one's probably used more than any of the other ones. The one that's used a lot as well is this one. Here, you can use it with any age. As long as uh, if she's female, you can use it. So, that's it for the female. Now, let's take a look. 
Let's take a look at the mail. What do you say for a mail? Put down a little guy here. All right, so the mail, you would say, for a guy, you would say, ya, ech. Ya, ech. Ya, ech means, oh, brother. All right, oh, brother. Now, not in the sense of, here we go, we'll put a ya, ech. Okay, ya, ech means, brother. All right. So this is, it's in, uh, it, it's the same as ya ocht, the same thing used for anybody, any age. And it's used a lot. Another one that's kind of a shortened version of that one is, is this one. Uh, let me see here. Yechi. All right. Yechi. Now yechi means the same. All right. Oh, brother, but look at what's happening. You're taking the yeah and the ech and putting them together into like a real, a real um, idiomatic, but well, not really idiomatic, but more like a, a shortened phrase. And it becomes yechi, yechi. Yechi is used more by younger guys um, and it's a little more slang, but it's okay to use with, well, really you want to use with somebody who's around your age, you know, let's say 20s or 30s, if that's your age, or younger even. But uh, this one here is probably used a little more than this one, at least by uh, older men or whatever, um, or people who uh, just prefer to go the more traditional route. All right, so another one after that is, you can say, for an older guy, let me see here, I got, or for a younger guy, or any age, rather, you can say, you can say, Ya Habibi. Habib. Ya Habibi, which we saw before. Ya Habibi, and that means my love or uh, dear one or something like that. So, Ya Habibi, my dear one. Now you can use that, unlike the one with girls, this is not limited to an age. So you can say anything, you know, any, any person you want, any, if it's a guy, guy to guy, you can say this. Ya yeah, Habibi. Or simply Habibi by itself. Habibi. Habibi. Did it say Habibi? Habibi. Bisir Ahkimak, yani, or Habibi. Bisir Atlum Minna Khidme. So many different ways, you just start it off with Habibi and you ask the question, okay? Another one you can say is, yeah, yeah, ustaz. Oh, I'm putting two homesies there. Yeah, ustaz. All right, now in Fusha, it's yeah, ustaz, okay? But here, in Ami, a lot of times people will just say, oh, I'm sorry. Not ustaz, ustaz, there. So, a lot of people will say ya ustaz. Now, ya ustaz is probably the most respectful respectful way to say something to someone. Um, if you're trying to get their attention, this would be the most respectful way. Ya ustaz would be said to people who are older, a little bit older, um, or even younger uh, than you possibly, but it's, a ter it's more respectful in your address to someone, ya ustaz. Now, if you know they have a doctorate, if they're at university, you're not going to say it. You say, ya doctor, okay, or um, doctora. So you're not going to use this one necessarily for that type of person. But if they are in, a, uh, in any position other than that, or even just a friend or somebody you don't know, even you could say, ya ustaz. All right, ya ustaz means, oh, um, teacher or professor or something like that. But in Amiya, uh, you don't say Ustaz for a professor in university. Um, you say Daktur. That's the word for professor more, more than this one. Okay, so this one's Ustaz used for more a teacher in a high school, let's say, or a school. All right, so the next one you can say, and the last one is Ma'allim. Ma'allim. Now, in Fusha, this is Mu'allim, but in Amiyyeh, we put 
a, a sukun there, take away the dhamma, put sukun, it becomes ma'allim. 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 Now, you don't say yeah before it. Usually, you just say ma'allim. And this can be used, it means teacher. Okay, teacher. But it can be used for anybody, any, any male, any guy, just about any age. So, but yeah, ustaz is more respectful, but ma'allim is also a respectful term. And it can be used for anybody. Okay, at a restaurant, the guy behind the counter, you're going to hear this one a lot, ma'allim. So as you can see in the Arab culture, there's a lot of terms, there are a lot of terms being used to show respect to others. Even a, 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 a less respectful term like this from ustaz to ma'allim is still respectful according to what you got for the meaning. So the last thing I want to tell you is for everybody, well for a guy, you can also say just like remember we said law samahti, you can say law you can say law smah law samahat. Okay? Law smahat or law samahat. Law samahat means just simply if you don't mind or if you will. All right? Law samahat. That can be said for anybody and that one said quite a bit. Okay? All right. Now, the last thing I'll say to end our time is that you can say many times what people do is they will just simply, they will simply go like this. al Okay, that's a crazy tan but it'll work for now. al afiyah al means like God, um, like uh, God uh, give you strength or something like that, or God give you good health. It's just a term that kind of, when you say this, it, People already know you're trying to get their attention. Allah So, and it is a shortened form of Allah Ya'atik. Allah Ya'atik. Il Afiyah. All right? That's all it is. Allah Ya'atik Il Afiyah. Al-Afiyah just means something like this, where it's short and form, form, and it's used to get people's attention more than anything else, okay? So this one, you would say it longer, Ya'atik Al-Afiyah, if somebody does you a favor, or, or if you're going to ask for a favor, but here, Al-Afiyah, or Ya'atik Al-Afiyah, you can use both of them, but this is more uh, for just asking to get someone's attention, try to, get, try to ask a question. All right, so we just gave you some great, uh, great things to say. Even if you don't know any Arabic and you wanted to use these just to get people's attention and then speak in English, you can. Uh, of course, we prefer to speak in Arabic, don't we? <laughs> so hopefully your Arabic will progress as you see these videos. And um, we will be seeing you next time for another great lesson, inshallah. And bye-bye for now.